Hi, let's solve next question. So it was asked in 2016, set one, it is a two mark question. So let's read the question. Let Q denote a Q containing 16 number. So and S be an empty stack. So head Q return the element at the head of the Q without removing it from Q while top S return the element at the top of the S without removing it from S. So consider the algorithm given below. Here one algorithm is given and it is asking the maximum possible number of iteration of the while loop in the algorithm is task. So it is asking how many times the while loop will run. And here it is given uh, a Q contains 16 number. Okay, so for 16 number if I will do it will, it will take lots of space and lot of time and in exam also you cannot do for 16 number. So I'm just uh, doing for small two number, you can do for three number also. So I'm just trying uh, to run this uh, run this algorithm in two number. A Q contain two number and stack is empty wow, how, as it is written. So here it is written uh, Q contain 16 number and S be an empty stack. But uh, for my example, I'm just considering Q having two number and an empty stack. Okay, so let's run the algorithm and see what will be the how many time while loop will run. So while Q is not empty, so there should be some value in Q. If Q will empty, then now while loop will stop. Okay, so if S is empty, so here S is empty or top of S less than head of Q. So here first condition satisfies. So this is not uh, relevant for this. Next X equal to DQ Q. So we'll just DQ and DQ is always from front and NQ is always from rear. This is your front. So we'll DQ 2 and push SX. So in while 1, we'll DQ 2. So we'll uh, and we'll push into the stack. Okay. So this I think you guys are clear. So here just we are doing X equal to DQ Q. Just uh, DQ just uh, 2 and push 2 into stack. So next and second while now the Q and stack contain this next and second while. So here S uh, is stack is empty? No. So now I'll just check this. Or top of S less than head. So here top of S is 2 and head uh, is 1. So it is not less than this. So we'll go to the else condition. So we'll pop S. So we'll uh, pop from the stack means we'll pop 2 and NQ that value here. And where it will NQ, NQ always add from the rear side. Okay. So now we'll, uh, we'll just NQ 2 in this stack. So now 2 will be here because rear side is this and this is for now. So 2 will be here and stack is again empty. So next is while 3. So now stack and Q contain this. Now next is uh, next while. So while uh, stack is empty, yes, this condition satisfied. So x dq q so will dq means we'll just delete one. Dq is always at front and push one in the stack. So now this will be the q and stack. Okay. So next we'll do while four. So while four, what it will do here? So now if s is empty, no. Or top of s less than head of q. So top of s is one. Head of q is two. So one is less than two. Yes. Okay. So then what we'll do x dq q so we'll just delete 2 and we'll push into stack. So now uh, the q will q will be empty and stack will be 1 2. And next time while loop but here it will check uh, while q is not empty but here now q is empty so it will stop. So while uh, so as q is empty the while loop will stop and after how many while uh, so it is just 4 while okay. So for 2 it is 2 multiplied by 2 4 and for 3 it will be 3 multiplied by 3 9. So if you have doubt you can check in 3 number you can put 3 number and you can check okay. But uh, if it will be in increasing order so it will just do less okay and it is asking maximum possible number of iteration. So that's why if it is in decreasing order like uh, I took 2 1 then it is taking 4 times. If you will take 3 2 1 then it will take 9 times. If you will take 1 2 3 it will just less time. Okay. 
so now for 3 it is 3 multiplied by 3 9 times so max and for 16 so 16 multiplied by 16 it will be 256 so answer will be 256 if you have still doubt just take three example uh, just uh, take three element in a queue and just two and it should be in decreasing order then only you will get maximum okay so here answer is 256 thank you